Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. And of course, as soon as I press record, the wind completely picks up, but that's okay. I've got a Rode Wireless Go, and it has a dead cat on it. All right, enough of that. Anywho, so today's Thursday, it's 10 to five. I spent the entire morning sitting in my office working on the day job project that I thought that I had taken care of last night. Turns out there was a bit of a problem and stuff that I thought that I sent out didn't get sent out. So I went in and found a problem and sent that in to try to figure out what that was all about. And they did identify the problem by the screenshot that I sent in because it showed a blue button that I was pressing to send something and the guy that does all that was like I don't have that on my screen that's not how you send it I don't know how that button got there and I don't know why it's showing up for them but not me now nobody well all right one other person other than me and my friend who found the initial problem the day before has sent anything in about that but somebody else did do the same screenshot as mine and that's when he surmised that there in fact was an issue so long story short or long story long in my case because i always talk too much i ended up spending the entire morning sitting in my office kind of redoing stuff that i'd already done wah okay but i did yield results because uh almost half of the clients that I'm waiting to get back to me did what they needed to do and got back to me. So that leaves me with tomorrow having to follow up with people that haven't done it by the time I get up in the morning. So I'm hoping that that, that won't be very many. Uh, there's always stragglers, you know, that just the way it goes. Everybody's busy. I get it. Okay. On to gear. So right now I'm shooting on the Sony a7C with the Sony 20 millimeter f1.8 obviously i have the rode wireless go for the microphone and i have it all still in the cage i put the handle back on and it's sitting on the mantis pod which is like one of my favorite setups ever it's fantastic and i get good image good audio all that stuff it's yeah right on uh and i go back and forth with the gear that i that i want to use and i try to use all of it because that's what i bought it for I've said it before, I'll say it again, every tool has its place, and that place ain't sitting in the toolbox not being used. That's why I got rid of so much gear that was sitting in the toolbox that I wasn't using, and I pretty much have it down now to all the stuff that I am going to use. I still really like the iPhone setup that I, set, that I worked with over the weekend and that I'll probably use most of the time when I'm on the road, especially as I start to, to delve further into LumaFusion and learn how to use it at all, but hopefully start using it better. Again, if you've watched any of my stuff, you know I'm pretty basic. I don't try to do crazy special effects and weird transitions and all that shit. That's just not me. So I'm bringing the wife person with me next week on my route as I make my way across Virginia because we are going to go visit her mother and that's going to be fun for her because she's going to be sitting in the car you know sitting in the forerunner while I go in and have my meetings and stuff I, I told her I'd crack a window for <laughs> other than that uh, you know things are, are what they are I am still waiting for my freaking hub the tracking never changed from the day that it went into the tracking system of course it's usps so it usually sucks anyways but it it had four updates that day and that was on the 24th last i checked it's the 29th and nothing's changed and i don't have it so as always i'm annoyed because like how hard is it to ship something and how hard is it to update the tracking in fact i got the uh nvme memory chip that I'm going to be putting in that hub if I ever get it and I ordered that after I got notification that it was shipped so I bought and paid for that damn memory chip and it got shipped to me before I ever got the, the hub 
So waiting on that. Oh, and I did, if I hadn't posted about it, or I think I've shot video, but I never posted it, but I got a new bag. So right now I'm currently using my pack safe, little fanny pack. Uh, it's smaller than that think tank speed demon. The speed demon was excessively large for me to be carrying around. And the problem with that is that because it was so big and had so much space, I just kept shoving stuff into it. So again, I, you know, it's like, I might as well just wear a damn backpack. And I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to have a smaller bag. So the research led me to the think tank stuff it. Stuff it is almost like a vertical bag that is bigger than the mini stuff it that I bought shit 10, 15 years ago. Uh, because today's cell phones are too big to fit in the mini stuff it. So I thought, well, I'll get the stuff it and that should do it. So I went, looked around for it. Turns out that it's either on back order, out of stock, or some places listed as discontinued. So I don't know. I found a place in Vegas that had the bag and I got the Speed Pro belt, which is like a padded belt that is modular so you can stick all kinds of shit on it. No problem, I ordered that. Everything came in, I picked it up yesterday, I put the belt on and it just falls right off me. Like I could put it around my shoulders and it would fall right off of me. And I'm thinking, okay, what the hell? I got the medium. It's supposed to be for a 32 to 42 inch waist. I'm not a 32, but I'm somewhere around 34 to 36. And I had it pulled all the way tight. I put a bag on it, I put a second thing on it to try to take up some more of the of the space and it just fell off me and I was like okay well clearly this is either they they label this really wrong and it doesn't fit people that size and it runs huge either way I need another one so I I got a return you know an RMA from the company and I went to someplace else and found the bag and and they verified that they had it in stock so I bought that in the meantime to have that shipped to me and then I'm gonna ship the other belt back. So this morning when I was filming, you know, when I was showing you the belt and, and telling you about it on a completely different camera system, I didn't realize that there was actually a manufacturer size, like a little tag that had come out from underneath the, uh, one of the loops. And I looked, it was an XXL to XXXXL. Like it was, it was the biggest size you could possibly get. And they had misstickered it with medium. So I was like, are you kidding me? So I called the company again and I told them, I said, yeah, you know, it turned out to be the same guy that I talked to yesterday. I said, yeah, I, I think I talked to you yesterday. I got the belt and it was the wrong size. He goes, oh yeah. And he goes, what's up? And I said, well, dude, you know, and I explained to him how I found the tag and that it was actually like a, a quadruple XL. And, and he's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So I just wanted to let them know that they had misstickered it and that, uh, you know, I want to make sure that they don't screw with me, you know, that I just didn't like the belt or there was something wrong, you know, I, it's just that it wasn't the right size. And of course they don't have the right size. So that's why I had to buy from the other place. So now I got to wait for that belt to come in before I start using a new bag. Uh, although I did get the stuff it sized bag, it's still really tight putting these phones in there. And I, I, that's kind of disappointing. I was hope, like if it were just a quarter of an inch, half an inch taller, it, everything would fit just perfectly, but it doesn't. So I had to, you know, like I have my 12 Pro Max and then I have my work eight plus and they are both in cases. So, you know, that adds a little bit of length to it, but regardless, they both don't fit in there the way that I was gonna put them in. So I had to figure out a different way to get them in there. And then I thought to myself, well, the bag is pretty small anyways, and I have other additional bags for, you know, modular bags that I can stick on there just to carry other shit. So I have another padded bag that I can put so I can sort of even myself out still be less than this and way less than the speed demon and that way I have room to, to put shit in the bag and carry it around on a nice padded belt and and I'm good to go I'll show you all that shit when it finally gets here other than that that's all that's going on I'm just gonna be uh, taking my time this weekend to sort of enjoy the weekend because there's nothing that I can do for that project 
I mean, if they don't get back to me, they don't get back to me. There's nothing more that physically that I can do that I haven't done already, which is call them, email them, you know, send them documents, this, that, and the other thing. So, uh, you know, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. I am going to play around, continue to play around with LumaFusion and using, you know, my iPhone and so on and so forth for now because I don't have that stupid hub. And again, the reason that I bought the hub and got the one terabyte memory chip to put in there is because the hub, when I plug it into the iPad Pro, it has USB-C, USB-A, an SD card, and a micro SD card reader. So I can essentially take footage off of any of my cameras, put them into the hub, transfer them right to the hard drive on the hub, and then edit everything from the iPad. Of course, in order to edit from a hard drive, I have to get iOS 15, which they haven't released yet. But for now, I can at least import that stuff onto the iPad, you know, uh, because right now I'm just using the iPhone and, and it goes to my iCloud, which shares all my devices, and then I can get the, the, the footage that way. But this way I can take footage off of anything easily and put it on an external hard drive rather than putting it all on the iPad. And then I could just erase everything from the iPad. Yeah, that's why I'm waiting for the hub. Annoying that I haven't gotten it, that I've got the memory, that I've got everything else that I need. I just don't have the DM hub, which was the first thing that I was supposed to get. So, eh, you know how that goes with me. If there's going to be a shipping problem, I'm going to have it. All right, that's all I got for you today. I am just going to sit outside here and enjoy it. It is really hot, though. Uh, the temperature, yeah, what did it say here? It's 87, but it feels like it's 96. And I believe that because I'm schwitzing here. So that's it. All right. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.